I wanted to write a short history of England. Uh, too many histories are too long, in my view. I wanted to write a book that you could read in, let's say, three hours, um, aimed at grown-ups. Um, a lot of short books are aimed at children. This is for grown-ups. Uh, I also wanted to write a history of England that was essentially narrative. It begins at the beginning and goes through to the end. Not a series of uh, random incidents or random individuals. Uh, I remember history as being a series of tableau. You just remember Henry VIII or uh, William the Conqueror. Uh, I wanted to link these people together so you had a continuous story. Uh, it's a history of England. Uh, I didn't want to do Scotland, Ireland, Wales. They have their own histories. Uh, but they often swamp histories of Britain, as they're so-called. I wanted to do a history of England, which you could read in a short period of time, which reminded you of all the most important dates, kings, events, battles, and so on. The old-fashioned history. I see history as a continuous river. It's always moving forward. And if you, if you try and leap forward or leap back or leap out of the river into some other movement, uh, you're going to miss the point. The point is continuous narrative. Uh, and this, this book is written as a continuous story to be read as a continuous story. I think mo most people are now taught history uh, as a series of events. They're taught about the Tudors, they're taught about the Normans, taught about uh, you know, the, the two world wars. I wanted to see how they link up. I wanted to give you a brief, brisk sort of trot through history, uh, the river of time, uh, where you saw why one cause led to one effect. Uh, one king, one battle, um, one election led on to another one. I wanted to link together history so you could see how it all happened, how it all pieced together. I was always fascinated by why it was that the English evolved liberal democracy before the rest of Europe. Uh, we just simply were in advance of everybody else until at least the 20th century. Uh, and I, I sort of put it down to the, um, the old traditions of the Germanic tribes, which the Victorians also thought were rather, rather splendid, partly because Queen Victoria married a German. But uh, I do think that there was something unique about England. It enabled us to be peaceful for most of our history. That peacefulness enabled us to prosper. Uh, we built up a huge empire, the biggest the world had ever known. Um, then in the 20th century, we disbanded it in reasonably good order uh, and then survived two world wars. It's a very remarkable story, the story of England. Um, but it's not over yet.